life depends on it. Push the damn I'm baby trying. out. I'm trying! It's uh, hard out! Keep pushing! Shut up and let me push! Push out the dumb baby! You're a horrible doctor! Ah! Oh my god! It's almost out! It's almost out! Yes! Here's your baby! Oh my god! It's hideous! It's ugly! It's the dad's fault. He's super hideous. Like you wouldn't even believe it. Oh my god, girl! You tell me. I'm only 15 years old, you booger. Don't talk back to your father like that. And Nick, stop growling. You sound like a zombie. I'm not, Speaking though. Of growling, who is growling outside my I'm door? not, though. Who is growling at my door? I'm trying to. Oh my god! <laughs> Honey, wait here. I'm gonna go check on your father. Okay. Dad, what the heck did you go? <gasps> oh, it's it's just a nightmare. Has it really been a year since my parents died? Hey Nicholas, how are you feeling? I heard you scream last night. Oh, I'm fine. I just been having one of those nightmares again. Again? Yeah. Do we need to take you to therapy or something? No, I think I'm fine. But thanks for rescuing me from the invasion. No problem. I know I said this before, but I'm sorry that your parents died from a strange illness. Anyways, this next year is your last year of high school. So, I make cupcakes. Thanks. Um, how are you feeling about high school? Uh, kind of scared. Is it your last year? I have mixed feelings about it. Ooh. Anyways, enough chit chat. I gotta get to work. Oh crap, I'm late for mine as well. I said I wanted red tulips, not white tulips. We don't have any more red tulips. Get it through your thick skull, I told you this. What kind of flower shop doesn't have any red tulips? That's One who's about to fire the employee for being late. All right. You, you, you. Oh my God, this is the fifth time. Sorry I'm late. I'm gonna fire you the next time. What have you been doing? I've been having nightmares about my parents' deaths. That's not an excuse. You, you used this the past five days and, and you've been late for this past week. But? But what? Go, go to the back. Yeah, get to work. Ugh. All right, I ordered a supply of red tulips. I took out the trash, and I made sure no kids were hiding in the bushes, but I might have peed in there a bit. Okay, first, gross. Um, second off, I'll call that customer from this morning back and tell her we have tulips. Also, um, how did your parents die? I want, I want to know. They died from an illness. What? I thought they died from the zombie apocalypse. Emily told me that, that they died from a strange illness. Emily? You know who she is? No, I don't. Oh, well, they really died from a zombie. Well, anyways, you should know about the crazy things that have happened in this city. What kind of things? Well, I sort of made a turtle mad once. Why? Childhood drama and un uh let go of dr grudges. But anyways, after the turtle got revenge, we became besties. Um, okay. I suggest you do the same, honestly. Make a turtle mad? Are you serious? No. I mean, get revenge, you idiot. On the turtle? Not on the turtle. You nimwit. Get this through your thick skull. On the zombie army. Oh. Then what do I do to the turtle? <sighs> this is why your GPA is so low. Enough with the turtle. It's just a story about my history in the city. Okay. You know what? I will. 
Good job, kid. You're fired. Uh-huh. I got it. I should make a fire suit that has fire resistance and can shoot fire to burn the zombies. Okay. Done. I gotta get my suit. Oh my goodness. I look hot. Literally. Emily, did they turn you into a zombie? No, you stupid man who couldn't even get enough credits to graduate. I made a potion that gave me the ability to transform into a zombie, my normal self, or a zombie dog. This isn't fair. Margarina gave Marcus the credits, but she did it for me. Why? Is it because I was going to cook roasted duck as a joke? It was a joke, I think. Whatever. I'm done helping people. They've never realized the impact I've made for them. I went to the nether, got them resources, killed the ender dragon for them, and protected that stupid stuff. This is the thanks I get. Gee, thanks a lot. My potion. How <laughs> could you? Oh, nobody gave me the credit for anything that I've done in the city. In fact, I am a nobody. Hey, I recognize you. Aren't you Marcus the Black Terrible? Yeah, that's me. Hi, do you recognize me? Nope, never heard of you. But now, people will know who I am. So you would rather be a known villain than to be an unknown hero. Isn't that a better option? This is not who you are. Even if nobody gave you credit, I did. You raised me after my parents died. Your parents didn't die from illness. They killed... Th th they died by me. You killed my parents? Why would you lie to me? Because I'm the villain, and since Marcus left for college, no one is going to protect this puny village. That's not true. I'm going to protect Green Peak City. How are you going to protect this city when you can't even graduate from high school? I may be a kid, and I may have not graduated yet, but I ain't giving up without a fight. You have a good heart, kid, but you can't kill me and my army. I don't think you have an army. I burnt it all. I still have my two henchmen after him! I heard what happened, and I just want you to know, I will offer to be your new guardian. Thanks. So, what are you going to do next? I have a job to do. At the flower shop, of course. You are fired! You are diggity dangity fired! You haven't come for the last week? You're fired! Get away! Go! I don't want to be your guardian anymore! Go! Get Fine, I'm a superhero. I don't need your ugly little piece of garbage.